was witnessing its highest September rainfall in over 65 years and this day was no different. With spirits high, we reached Kaman Road Railway Station by hopping into the Panwail bound passenger from Vasai Railway Station at about 7 am. In 20 minutes, we reached Kaman and headed towards the main road. A 20 minute bumpy rickshaw ride took us to Dev Kundi. No one was ready to guide us that day to the fort, so finally, we decided to get going on our own. The initial path is confusing and soon we were lost. This beautiful soul guided us to the correct path, after which the route is well defined with markings. As this place is less frequented, the vegetation was thick and at many places the path leading to Kamandur just disappeared due to this thick vegetation. Four hours after we had started the trek, we could see the first signs of the fort. However, the part after this had become too dangerous to climb due to the rains. Just 50 meters before the top, we came to a patch which would be very risky to climb during this weather. So the first time, after having completed n number of treks, I decided that I should call it off and return. Soon after, the others too turned back after going a little ahead. They thought it was not a good idea too. We rested and had a great time at a flat section just before the tanks and then returned back. It took us around 2.5 hours to return back to Devkondi village, before which we enjoyed ourselves in a water stream. Overall, it was a great trek and it taught us many things.